Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday and I have done Walgreens haul round two. So um, when I did the first Walgreens haul, which was yesterday, I did not know of this extra rebate, which I will tell you about at the end when I go over the final numbers. But um, I was working with a five off 30 digital booster and I was using my guy's account and I paired that in with the spend 50 on PNG products, get back $10 in Walgreens cash. So before we get into all of that, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. If you are already a member of our Sour Patch family, welcome back. It's great to have all of you here. And before I get into the video, I want to remind you that if you have not entered to win this week's gift card giveaway, the video for that is linked in the description box below. Click on the link, watch the video, like the video, you must be a subscriber, and then comment anything you want down below in that video that will enter you to win the $10 gift card. We do this weekly. The winner is drawn on Fridays, and that's it. So let's get right into this Walgreens haul number two. Okay, guys, and this was an all digital deal, which is even better for those of you who don't want to deal with paper coupons. So the first deal we're going to talk about is on the Bounty, Charmin, and Tide products. When you buy any four participating products this week at $4.99, you will get back a $6 register reward. So as I said, these are all $4.99 each. There is a $2 off digital on the Tide Liquid, a $2 digital on the Tide Pod, a $0.25 cent digital on the Charmin, and a $0.25 cent digital on the Bounty. The subtotal for this is $19.96. Minus $4.50 in digital coupons, I was left to pay $15.46 out of pocket. Getting back a $6 register reward, final cost is just $9.46 for all four items or $2.39 each. That's a great deal, guys. Up next, we have the Pampers. These were marked two for 18 in the store but they ring up two for 20. So I'm gonna give you the math on how they ring up. Two for 20, and there is a $5 off two digital coupon in my Walgreens folder. That brought it down to $15 out of pocket. I got back a $4 manufacturer coupon. Final cost on the two Pampers is $11 for both or just $5.50 each. Now up next, I'm gonna talk about the Big Soleil. Now, there is a $1 printable coupon from smartsource.com. That is linked in the description box below. Click on the link, it'll take you to their website so you can print out the dollar printable. I did not do that the today for this deal, I did it for yesterday's deal. But, there's two different ways to do this deal, okay? So, if you wanna buy just one of the Big Soleil razors, they are $5.99 this week. There is a $5 digital, final cost is just 99 cents. I think that's a great price. Now what I did is I bought two, the subtotal on that was $11.98. I did use the $5 digital, bringing my subtotal down to $6.98. I got back $6 from checkout 51 for buying them, final cost was 98 cents for two. Now, if you go to smartsource.com and you print out that printable coupon, your final cost will be completely free plus a two cent money maker. Now you're wondering, why didn't you print out the coupon if it's so good? Well, I was already out and about. I had two register rewards that were expiring and I just didn't want to drive all the way home to get a dollar printable. So that is the math on those. Now we're going to talk about the Snuggle. This is not a PNG product but I put it in my basket because I didn't want to do a bunch of different transactions today. So the deal on the Snuggle is $2.99 this week. There is a dollar digital coupon. My final cost on the Snuggle was just $1.99 and you guys know this is my favorite. So now we're gonna talk about the Crest and Oral-B and I apologize, I realize now that the Crest is being covered up with that register reward. Give me just a second, guys. There we go, guys, that's much better. 
So when you spend $10, on Crest and Oral-B products, you're gonna get back a $5 register reward, which is actually a manufacturer coupon. So that can be used on any item in the store that doesn't already have a coupon attached. All right, I bought two of the Crest Complete Protection at $4.99 each, and then one of the Oral-B Twin Packs at $6.99. The subtotal on that was $16.97. There is a three off two digital for the Crest and a one off one digital for the Oral-B. I was left to pay $12.97 out of pocket, getting back that $5 register reward. That is $7.97. And then I submitted to Ibotta for $6 back on the Crest, $3 for each. Final cost for the three items is just $1.97 or I believe 65 cents-ish each, which is a great deal. Now, there's a different way to do this and let's talk about that real quick. So if you can find the single Oral-B toothbrush marked at $4, you're gonna buy the two Crest Complete for $4.99 each and the one Oral-B toothbrush for $4. That subtotal is $12.98 minus the $3 digital coupon and the $1 digital coupon is $8.98. Getting back the $5 register reward makes it $3.98, but then submitting to Ibotta for $6 back. Final cost is completely free plus a 102 money maker. But this is this, mm, actually this is the fourth Walgreens I've been to in two days, and none of them had the $4 Oral-B toothbrush that went with this deal. So I went ahead and got another one of the twin packs because $1.97 for three really isn't that bad. All right, guys, and last but certainly not least is the Irish Spring Deal. They are three for 10 this week, and there is a $2 digital coupon. That means I paid $8 out of pocket, and I got back $5 in Walgreens cash. Final cost on that transaction, I mean that deal, is three for three or just a dollar each. That's significant. So let's talk about what didn't work before we get into the final numbers. The $6 register reward did not print today, which is funny because it printed yesterday. Um, so all I had to do was send a, or submit a form to the Catalina company. In about four weeks, they will send me back my $6 register reward in the mail. And don't worry, when they do that, the expiration date on the one they send you is still for about two weeks out. And I will insert a picture here of the last register reward I got from them for a, a deal I did a while ago. I can't even re remember, but they look slightly different, but they are pretty good about that. So also the 25 cent for the Bounty Essentials did not come off and the $1 Oral-B did not come off. I have already chatted in and they have already given me back $1.25, so that's handled. The other thing that didn't work is the $10 in Walgreens cash when you spend 50 on P&G products, that didn't come um, off, or well, that didn't end up on my receipt as well. Again, I chatted in with Walgreens and I'll put it up here for you to see. They call it courtesy adjustment or something like that. And they've already given me back the $10 for the 50 spent on P&G, the dollar for the Oral-B, the 25 for the Bounty Essentials. So it's already all handled and it literally took not even two minutes. Um, what did print is the $7 in so $7 paper booster when you spend looks like 25 on my next transaction and then a 20% off also printed, but I must not have put it in here. So my point in telling you all of this is not to discourage you because honestly, it really is worth couponing. Okay, my point of telling you all of this is to let you know that it happens to all of us. I've been couponing hardcore since 2008. Um, I've actually been couponing as far back as when I was 11 years old and I can remember the very first coupon I even used. It was at Walgreens. My Nana has worked there since forever. And it was back in the day when Walgreens had coupons in their ads that you would have to cut out. And the very first coupon I ever used was on Celestial Seasonings Sleepy Time Tea. 
<laughs> so it was always in my blood. But anyway, guys, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly can always be fixed, especially with Walgreens. They're very quick about it. It's super easy. You can chat in, you can phone call, you can even turn right back around and deal with it in store. So, okay, guys, final numbers. For everything pictured here, the subtotal was $76.91 minus the digital coupons that did come off, which I will show you here. Okay, those ones did come off. I paid $55.66 out of pocket. I did get back $10.76 in rewards, five for the Irish Spring and five for the digital booster I had. I already chatted in, like I said, and got back $11.25 in Walgreens cash, including the $5 register reward over there. Yep, and the $4 register reward, $6 back from Ibotta, $6 back from Checkout 51, and including the $6 Catalina register reward I will be getting in the mail. The final cost for a $76.91 $76 bundle is just $6.65. I think that is a tremendous deal, guys, and there's more, though. Okay, so... As I hinted in the beginning of the video, I caught wind of a rebate. Um, P&G, when you spend $50 on P&G products, you can submit your receipt um, digitally to their website, which I will have linked in the description box below, and you will get back a $15 Visa gift card. Um, I missed out on the ones in spring because I wasn't paying attention to the date, but I'm not going to miss this one. So. After I get that $15 Visa gift card, this will be an $8.35 money maker. See what I said, guys? Couponing is worth it. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for sticking it out. I appreciate all of you. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below so I can say hi back to you so we can chit chat back and forth. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So take care of each other. Most importantly, take care of yourself. And until next time, bye for now.